Work on the West East gas pipeline project is picking up steam. Construction on the eastern part of the second pipeline will begin next month. Investment, both direct and indirect, is predicted to hit half a trillion yuan. Guan Xin reports on that. China National Petroleum and Corporation is busy with preparations for the eastern section of the second line of the West East gas pipeline project. A 20-day bidding period starts next week, and a launch ceremony will be held in the middle of next month. Direct investment in the project is 140 billion yuan, but it will drive an additional 400 billion yuan in investment in related sectors. The second pipeline starts in Turkmenistan and enters China through the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Then it winds its way through 14 provinces, municipalities, and autonomous regions to end in the Hong Kong SAR. The domestic portion of the pipeline runs 4,945 kilometers in length. At over 10,000 kilometers long, the entire pipeline will be the longest natural gas pipeline in the world. Its transfer capacity is to reach 30 billion cubic meters, twice that of the first line of the West East Gas Pipeline project. This is just one part of China's effort to construct its natural gas pipeline network. By 2010, the length of China's pipeline network is expected to reach 50,000 kilometers, with more than 10 major routes across the country. We will construct more than 30,000 kilometers of natural gas pipeline in the next few years, according to our plan. It is likely that we will complete our goal ahead of time. Industry insiders say starting 2010, at least 70 percent of Chinese cities will be able to use natural gas, a clean energy. This will result in the reduction of 130 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions and 140 tons of sulfur dioxide annually. Guanxing CCTV.